The ABC has uncovered shocking conditions faced by a group of chronically ill hospital patients in the resource-rich Pilbara. Dialysis patients, among others, are sleeping rough or living in small tents near a Port Hedland hospital. They have no access to food, water or sanitation, although the WA government says there are places for them. The ABC's Jeff Waters visited the Pilbara camps in the shadow of a big new medical facility. In Australia's commodities boomtown lies this country's most squalid waiting room. On the outskirts of Port Hedland, a couple of hundred metres from a public hospital, is a series of camps. Many of the occupants require daily dialysis or other medical treatment. They walk to get their water and especially for persons that are on dialysis, you know, they need to have a water and that. Their families gather here to care for them, though alcohol abuse is rife. Beatrice Simpson, who didn't want to be interviewed on camera, says she's been here for years because she suffers chronic lung problems and diabetes. Donald Thomas is a Port Hedland local whose wife is on dialysis. He says they've been on a state housing waiting list for three years. It's because of the mining boom. They, they, they get their house, housing straight away. They don't look at us. You know, we got sick people. We got sick people to um, care for. A new federally funded hostel is being built not far away, but it'll take months to complete. Troy Buswell is the WA Housing Minister. A lot of those people can uh, stay with family and friends. A lot of them are currently in, uh, as you point out, uh, accommodation which is not uh, of a suitable standard. This big building behind me may seem like the answer, but just up the street here is a smaller existing hostel. Now, the people camping tell me they don't want to live there because it's too expensive and because they feel like they'd be trapped in an institution for the rest of their lives rather than spending their time in a home of their own. For some people that may be uh, expensive. I think you'd find in the context uh, of, of accommodation options in Port Hedland, uh, it's, it's reasonable value for money. Now, uh, we're working hard uh, to provide options for people. But it appears those options for now remain limited. Jeff Waters, ABC News, Port Hedland.